sixth grade, module two, lesson 10 problem set. Calculate the following products using partial products. So we're gonna use the distributed property or partial products to find these products. So number one, I'm gonna do over up here. So number one is 400 times 45 and 2 tenths. What we're gonna do is take 45 and 2 tenths and split it into 45 and 2 tenths. So we'll have 400 times 45 and we're gonna add it to 400 times 2 tenths. So we're doing partial products. We took part, we split that into 45 and 2 tenths which is gonna make it into an easier problem for us to multiply. So four, I'm gonna do four times 45. Four times 45 is equal to, let's see. Oops. It's 20, four times four is 16, plus two is 18. So that's equal to 180 plus two zeros will give us 18,000. Plus, we can do four times two, I'll worry about the decimal in a minute, it's eight with two zeros. But since this is two tenths, we need to move the decimal point over one place, so it's actually 80. So 18,000 plus 80 would be 18,080. Number two, 14 and 9 tenths times 100. So I'm going to use partial products to change 14 and 9 tenths into 14 and then 9 tenths. So let's do 100 times 14 plus 100 times 9 tenths. So 100 times 14 would be 14 with two zeros, 1,400 plus 100 times 9 tenths, I'm gonna forget about the decimal point and just do 100 times nine is 900, but we need to divide by 10 or move the decimal point one place to the left and we'll get 90. So if we add those together, we have 1,490. Number three, 200 times 38 and 4 tenths. I'm gonna split 38 and 4 tenths up and multiply 200 times 38 plus 200 times 4 tenths. So 2 times 38 is equal to 76. So 200 times 38 would be 7,600 plus 2 times 4 tenths, or 200 times 4 tenths. 2 times 4 is equal to 8 with two zeros but again, we need to divide by 10 to make that just 80. So 7,600 plus 80 would be equal to 7,680. Number four, 900 times 20 and 7 tenths. I'm gonna split it into 20 and 7 tenths and we'll have 900 times 20 plus 900 times 7 tenths. So 900 times 20, 9 times 2 is 18 with 1, 2, 3 zeros, so 18,000. Plus 900 times 7 tenths, 9 times 7 is 63 with 2 zeros, but we need to divide it by 10 to make it 630. So if we add 18,000 plus 630, we'll have 18,000. 630. And lastly, number five, we have 76 and 2 tenths times 200. So I'm going to split those up. 200 times 76 plus 200 times 2 tenths. So let's do 2 times 76. Well, 2 times 75 is 150. So 2 times 76 would be 152 with two zeros. So 15,200 plus 200 times 2 tenths 
2 times 2 is 4 with two zeros, but we need to divide it by 10, so it's 40. So 15,200 plus 40 would be 15,240.